world! My name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Now, I also like to talk about how I see the world versus how you see the world, and I also um, like to give advice to um, those neurotypicals that um, want to learn everything that they can about autism to shutting up those neurotypicals that are being a pain in the butt, meaning that they go to these um, so-called top experts that say that we uh, have a lack of empathy and uh, similar stereotypes. And um, I also like to talk to um, others on the autism spectrum that um, are dealing with a neurotypical that, again, they're being a pain in the butt, but you and I know that we have to live with those neurotypicals and uh, Sometimes we have to put them in, the, in their place, no matter how, how hard we struggle with communication. Um, I eventually would like to uh, take my uh, blogs and turn them into a uh, mini Good Morning America right here on YouTube and instead do live shows in the nerd world because nerds are just such interesting people and uh, as I get older I long to be more of a nerd myself. And um, when I say nerd, I would like to do live shows at Dragon Con and Comic Con and Wizard World and um, and Furry Weekend Atlanta. And I would like to do live shows at the University of Georgia and uh, the Georgia Tech's Institute of Technology. And um, I would like to talk to uh, top scientists at these universities that are really putting effort into some of these research programs versus... Uh, getting information from the media that uh, Eureka, they have found uh, they have found something and so everybody's going to fall for it and everybody's going to live happily ever after because they thought they found the latest cancer research. No. Research takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and there's a lot going on behind the scenes that uh, the media just never wants to cover. So. Right now, I would like to continue with talking about living on the autism spectrum, and uh, here is an experience with that. Um, so, yesterday, I uh, went to my congregation uh, due to celebrating the Feast of Shavuot. Yes, I am Jewish, or I am a uh, Messianic Jew for Jesus, but that's irrelevant. Um, I went there, and uh, uh, one of the areas that I've been talking about is making connections with other people, and there are two girls there that I was interested in getting to know. So I had attempted to sit near the girls and uh, I had tried to make a conversation with them, but uh, really instead of wanting to uh, take me into the conversation, they uh, attended to shut me out and ignore me. And when I did talk to them, I mean, they weren't patronizing or mean, they uh, they talked to me in this superficial voice, like they were at one of them was asking me to hold them accountable as a witness uh, about uh, their diet restrictions. And I mean, there was no real depth to the conversation at all. And then um, later on, after uh, the service was over, uh, I went to sit down for lunch. And as I was sitting down, I noticed that they were standing against the wall together. And I had finished, I threw my stuff away, and uh, I saw another individual at my congregation who has a crush on one of the girls. Uh, he tried to talk to them himself, and like me, he was also on the autism spectrum. And uh, he can be a little rowdy, so I went over there to uh, attempt to stand up for the girls. And I asked if uh, he was uh, getting on their nerves again, and, and the, one of the girls said, no, not so far. And I said... I'll kick his butt if he picks on you. And she said, we'll let you know. And I noticed that they, wa they walked away from me and uh, they seemed to sit down in the area where I was sitting for lunch earlier. And uh, now that's an area that lots of people on the spectrum struggle with is making friends. And one of the areas that I've noticed that people seem to be the most clicky are in uh, places of worship. I mean, never have I seen people more clicky in my life. And uh, I noticed that they have a really hard time uh, under, you know, accepting people who are different. I've seen people uh, get together and uh, they've become roommates, uh, they go to movies together, they travel together. And then meanwhile, people like myself just get shut out. 
And I mean, I don't know if, uh, if, you know, if I'm doing something wrong to offend them or if they just don't understand or if they've known each other for years. But either way, I did not like what I saw and I know that I was hurt and I know that I was disappointed. And uh, I do know that if I catch them acting like that again, I do want to make a stand because, again, that is a neurotypical that is being a pain in the butt and I have to live with it. But I don't think it's right. What would you do in a situation like this? Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Bye.